It seems that the Quest 3 has even more similarities with the Quest Pro than initially anticipated. A recent tweet by Alex from VR Panda sheds light on some intriguing details. According to Alex, the Quest 3 might feature a rear-mounted battery coupled with dual-panel pancake lenses. Further down the thread, VR analyst Sadly It's Bradley chimes in to confirm that the Quest Pro was also a two-piece device. This aligns well with the fact that the Quest Pro was essentially served as the prototype for Quest 3. Consider the various improvements that the Quest Pro brought about. The pancake lenses, the ringless controllers, and the sleek visor. However, the Quest Pro faced an issue with its rear battery placement. Although Meta advertised it as supremely comfortable, many users found it otherwise. It did feel comfortable when worn correctly, but that's a different video. A significant demand has emerged for removable straps, prompting the Quest 3's battery to be repositioned behind the lenses instead of on top of them. This reconfiguration is crucial due to the Quest 3's new slim profile, which isn't just an aesthetic choice. It's a practical necessity arising the spatial constraints. Interestingly, while Meta's advertisements claim that the Quest 3 is 40% thinner since its unveiling in June, Andrew Bosworth, Meta CTO, has already confirmed that its weight will remain the same as the Quest 2. This might be disappointing, but taking a closer look at the design, it's evident that the Quest 3's wraparound structure is reminiscent of the Quest Pro also, a feature notably absent in the Quest 2. This design approach hints at the Quest 3's potential to be used without a face mask, similar to the Quest Pro, which I personally prefer. Meta avatars have achieved a significant evolution through the version 57 update on the public test channel. These virtual avatars, which had been the target of widespread ridicule in both social and tech media due to their upper body only design, have taken a noteworthy stride forward. The initial acknowledgement of this concern came from Meta in September of the previous year, when they first announced their intention to develop develop avatars with legs. The commitment was reiterated in October when they indicated that the feature was in the works and would be introduced as coming soon. Although various third-party VR applications and games had already incorporated virtual legs, the challenge lay in affecting synchronizing these digital representations with the actual movements of users' legs. A lack of alignment between virtual and real leg motions, especially when looking downward, was a recurring issue. The transition between sitting and standing positions along with the seamless representation of leg movements through thumbstick-based locomotion also posed difficulties. Public sentiment on this matter varied, with some users unaffected by disparities in simulating virtual legs, while others found the experience unsettling. To address these concerns, Meta pursued an unconventional approach. They chose to unveil leg avatars exclusively in a third-person perspective, avoiding their incorporation into the first-person view when users look downward. However, it's crucial to note that the third-person perspective extends to situations involving interactions with virtual mirrors. Consequently, several Quest users who accessed the version 57 PTC observed the reflection of their leg avatars in virtual mirrors within Horizon Home. Notably, the third-person view of the avatars lacks support for crouching, resulting in the avatar remaining in a standing position even during crouching or sitting actions. This could potentially lead to issues with maintaining proper eye contact in social VR scenarios, and the disparity is particularly jarring in virtual mirrors. Currently, the presence of legs is limited to Quest's Horizon Home. However, Meta has confirmed that Horizon Worlds will integrate legs in their avatars in the coming weeks. Yay. It's also important to highlight that the Meta Avatars SDK has yet to receive a public update, preventing third-party developers from implementing leg avatars at this time. The anticipation for the SDK's update release aligns with Meta's upcoming Connect conference scheduled for September 27th, where the company traditionally unveils and releases various features for the Quest VR platform. Last year, Meta announced plans for a comprehensive graphics overhaul for its avatars, characterized by a more realistic style. However, updates on this front have been sparse since the initial announcement. The company clarified that the demo showcase was created using motion capture technology and not VR specific technologies. A recently unearthed clip of the Quest 3 utilizing its depth sensor to create a detailed 3D mesh of its environment. The short clip brought to light by firmware sleuth Samulia provides a visual representation of depth mapping originating from the headset, likely emanating from the depth sensor. The visualization encompasses the room as the clip pans, intricately capturing the environmental mesh that aligns with objects and furniture. A noteworthy aspect is the apparent semantic 
artistic comprehension illustrated by the identification of the couch accompanied by the icon. The clip's finale showcases a mixed reality character standing on a real couch and subsequently climbing over it, presenting a demonstration of occlusion, allowing for a more immersive experience by utilizing a greater portion of their physical space, including elevated surfaces like beds and tables. Which news story did you enjoy most today? Comment down below as well as any thoughts you may have. And let's start a conversation. And don't forget, at the time of the making of this video, we are still giving away a Quest Pro. That Quest Pro right there could actually be yours. Seriously, all you have to do is play the game. And the rules to that video are up here. And don't worry, you don't have to buy anything. It's really all just a matter of finding magic words. It's actually a lot of fun. So please, like this video, subscribe if you deem our channel worthy, and have a happy, scrappy day. Hey.